All right, since the last video, um, I've mounted it on the engine stand, got it on the engine stand. Well, I took off, I started by taking off front accessories. I took off the fuel system. There was two nuts right here holding the uh, fuel water separator. Took those two off. Two bolts in the front of the block holding the fuel pump. I took all that off as an assembly. Next, going from the passenger side across to the front, I took off the uh, an alternator bracket, a long bracket running across the front of uh, the water hose. Took that off first. Um, then I disconnected the water hose from the thermostat housing because that was the only thing keeping the water pump on. Then I disconnected the bracket holding the alternator on. I think there was two bolts left, maybe three. Um, those two bolts screwed into the cylinder head. Uh, then once I got the alternator off, I moved on to the uh, water pump. The water pump was on the front. Uh, four bolts hold the water pump. The lower right bolt on the water pump has a stud on it for the uh, old dipstick. Took that screw off first. Then there's a stud on the left hand side of the water pump holding the bracket for the alternator. Uh, of course that's gone so it didn't matter. Um, then I, I got the water pump off. Um, the engine was still full of water. Moving on from there, I uh, took off the idler pulley bracket. Uh, there was three bolts holding it on. One at the very bottom right down here. Right there. Second from the bottom. Then there was another bolt in the head holding the idler pulley. And one more on the power steering pump. Once those three bolts are out, the idler pulley came out. Once I got that off, I took off the oil, the uh, gear oil reserver plastic box. Uh, off the bracket, there was two. There was an 11 millimeter and a 9 16 bolt holding it to a front bracket. Once I got that off, I took the power steering pump off. There was two 15 millimeter nuts on the back. Got those out. Um, but first, before I could get to those, I had to take off the driver's side motor mount with three 9 16 bolts. Once the motor mount's out of the way, then I got to the 15 millimeter with my impact wrench to get the power steering pump out. Once the power steering pump's out, um, I moved on to the, uh, the hoses up top, disconnected the 2 9 16 bolt holding the thermostat housing on. Um, oh, by the way, I cut the, cut the power steering return hose off the cooler because it was already cracked and rotted anyway so I just cut it instead of having to try to pull it off it needs to be replaced um, so I separated the cooler from the power steering hose removed the power steering pump with the hoses set them outside to keep the fluid from draining out after that um, the hoses the hose assembly was ready to go took the, the two bolts out of the top of here with where the hook was took that off hit it with a hammer and the whole assembly came out as one one large assembly with all the hoses on it. Right here. So, the water pump had already been dis disconnected from the front down here on the bottom, on the bottom front down there. So, because the water pump had to be taken off first. Um, and that's where I'm at now. So the block is, uh, we just drained the oil. Uh, no, we drained the water with a little oil in it. And then uh, I'm fixing to take the intake manifold off the top, flip it upside down, take the oil pan off, and we'll see what's wrong with it.